Hello everyone. I pray you are doing well. I pray that God is blessing us so much in life. I pray my arm, I'm believing in faith that my arm is healed right now in Jesus' name. I pray that both of my arms are healed in Jesus' name. As Christians, I believe as non-Christians as well, I believe for non-Christians as well, but let me say it in this way. As Christians, I believe we are going to have trouble. We are. Like, no matter where you go, let's say you go to Japan, you go to Korea, you go to um, uh, Spain and Portugal and all these places like that, no matter where you go, I believe you are going to have trouble. Even if you go up a mountain, I believe a person will go up the mountain and probably give you a hard time because that is just how life is, as in we are going to have problems. Maybe some birds may come, come up there and give you a hard time. This is something we have to get used to. We can't stress over every single bad thing they met that may come to our lives. We can't stress over those things every time, can we? Can we allow, or should I say, should we allow the problems in our lives to dictate how we feel in the present? and in the future. As a Christian, bad things are going to happen to you. I believe in, I may not have the scripture on me, but I believe there is a scripture saying something like, for those who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Ooh, my arm, right? You can't get away from problems. Okay. Let's go to 2 Timothy. Mm. Chapter 3, verse 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So what do you think that is saying? You are going to have trouble as a Christian. And I truly believe that as you level higher in Jesus Christ, I believe the trouble will increase. There is a YouTuber I may listen to from time to time. And it seems like uh, he has a very... Let's say I believe he has a larger gift from God than me. Like the things he speak about, about the bad things he go through is, I don't think I could even handle. I don't think I can handle much of what he goes through. Like I believe he speaks about his health, this and that, this and that, I don't think I can, as I am now, I don't think I can even go through what he goes through. And I truly believe he will be rewarded for all the stuff that he is going through now. Learn to be stable when you have problems. For myself, I don't like problems. Please believe me. I don't like them. I don't like to be falsely accused. 
But, you know, that is part of the lifestyle. Look at Jesus Christ. What did they do to him when he was on earth as a human, if you know what I mean by that? What did they do to him? I believe they tried to kill him before he was um, crucified. I believe he, they tried to kill him more than one time, but was not able to until, well, they did not kill him. I believe he took his own life. Let me say that. I have learned and you may disagree with this, but that is okay. You may have to go through some problems to learn. But I have learned since in this life I am going to have problems, I have to learn to be quiet. I have to learn to be humble. If someone doesn't want to hear the truth, if someone just wants to express the way they feel, why should I say much? Why should I continue expressing myself? If you already have it figured out, if you already know I am wrong, I would do it with my other hand. I think I can, yeah. If you already know I am wrong, <laughs> why should I say much? Some people may say, well, if you don't say much, you know, some people may believe you are wrong. They may go around and lie on your name and who cares? What I find as well, even if people lie on me, the truth usually comes out. I believe it almost always, as far as I know, comes out. It comes out. I don't have to get into petty fights. I don't have to really prove myself to people who may want to stay ignorant, who may want to just fight for the cause of fighting. We have to understand as well that our fight is with the demonic. So yes, you may have a disagreement or whatever with a human being, but behind that human being is a demon. If I choose to act up and do all this evil stuff and just want to be rude and mean and hateful and spiteful and vengeful and all this stuff here, it is a demon behind me. Like I am a puppet and the demon as the puppeteer. We have to get smart. Am I telling you I do everything right? I don't. I wish I did. But I believe I am becoming wiser. I believe I am getting better. Stop getting pulled into these I wish I had the word for it. Let me say useless arguments. Sometimes people just want to say stuff just to say it. Not that they want to find the truth to a degree. Some people are maybe like that. But I think some people just want to say stuff to just say stuff, not to really find the truth. So if they are that way, why waste your time? It, it reminds me uh, when they caught Jesus Christ. I may not remember everything fully, but 
at particular times, he kept his peace. They were asking him questions and stuff like that. And I don't remember for how long, but I believe for a lot of it, he did not say a word. Now, shouldn't we be like that too with people who just want to accuse and not really want to understand? And as I stated before, we are in, in so many words, we are in a spiritual war. So if a demon is using a person or people, do you believe, do you think a demon cares what is the truth? Do you think a demon cares you are doing something with good intentions? No. What they want, I believe, is ultimately, I believe, if they are able to, to destroy you. So I believe some people are trying to persuade people who are being manipulated by demons. How useless is that? What a waste of time. Some people may say they want to serve God, but many people, I believe many people don't. You may see many people in a church, but maybe a small fraction of those people actually serve God. No matter the position, no matter how many times they go, they go to church, I believe a small fraction of people in church actually want to and actually serve God. I think many people there in church are, in a sense, maybe a distraction or they just wasting time, perhaps. We have to learn to close our mouths. We need to learn how to be able to stay stable even when someone is causing trouble for us. We can't go unstable. We can't become so unstable. Is it unstable or unstable? I think it is unstable. We can't become unstable every time a problem comes our way. Seriously. We may ask God to use us, but, and I believe he can, but how much can he really use us if we become unstable when some problems come our way? Listen, man. I know we may be on different levels, but how can I say this? Well, let me just say this. Learn, no matter how much trouble comes your way, learn to deal with it. Like myself, I have this arm problem I may have to get the other arm worked out. <laughs> like uh, this morning, I believe I was having a demonic dream, demonic experience, whatever you want to call it. Then some other stuff happened and, but I know how to get down on my knees, which that is what I did. I got down on my knees for at least part of the time, I believe, and prayed to God about it. We can't unravel every time bad things comes our way. We need to learn how to be stable. I believe God can give us peace while going through problems. I am telling you, I go through, I may not go through the most amount of problems, but I believe I go through a nice amount of problems. Maybe I should not say nice. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I go through problems. 
And I believe God can really use you more and more if you know, if you learn how to be stable while going through problems. Learn to keep a positive attitude. Learn to still want to do what is right even though you are going through something tough. I believe God can use you more and more if you learn to be stable. But let me stop right here. I hope you get the point. May God bless us all. Stop. Before I go, let me say this too. Stop running away from problems. Because <laughs> even if you run away, they are still going to follow you. Maybe it may not be that same person, but I believe it is going to be another person. You can't escape problems. You can't. You cannot. Stop getting in depression and all this other stuff when problems come your way. I believe our problems are done once we go to heaven. But until then, we have to fight. We are in a spiritual war. How can you live for Jesus Christ, but at the same time believe you should not get attacked? Believe that you should have no problems with this person and that person. And you are going to have problems with people. If you are standing upon the word of God and someone is not, there's a chance you may have a problem with that person. I believe the Bible says that we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. We are, I believe we should be the influencers of this world. If you are not the salt and in the light of the world, what good are we? If we are not the light of the world and the salt of the earth, what good are we? We are just like everyone else. What good is that? I believe the Bible says to let our light shine. Well, let me go no further. Let me stop here. May God bless us all.